you. It is a pleasure to be here. Uh, and uh, in the words of Monty Python, now for something completely different. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the work that we're doing in EERE that's fun, it's engaging, and it's successful. And success is really important to us because what we're trying to do is really accelerate the adoption of energy efficiency in the country. So let's talk a little bit about what we're doing before we get to the reality TV part. I always think it's important for us to talk about what the problem is we're trying to solve in this country and why the Department of Energy is involved in the work that we're doing. And simply put, we know as a nation we spend about $200 billion a year to run our commercial buildings. That's anything that's not a home. It's a hospital, a hotel, a grocery store. We spend roughly another $200 billion a year to run our manufacturing facilities, and yet another $200 billion a year to run our homes. We also know on average we can cost effectively reduce waste and drive greater efficiency in those buildings by about 20 percent. All of you know because you work at the Department of Energy the actual potential to get energy savings in those buildings is much higher. But I'm just talking about cost effectively. What's the easy lift? We know it's about 20 percent on average. Okay so then the next question is why isn't it happening? And I'm focused mostly on commercial industrial folks within the Better Buildings Challenge. And so why it doesn't happen in organizations, there's a whole bunch of reasons. And you can see some of them up on the wall. But sometimes it's you can't get senior management bought in. I don't know why energy efficiency is important. I just pay energy bills once a month and I'm done. Sometimes people say, hey, I already did a building and I'm done. So they've done one building, but they own 100. Lots of different barriers that stand in the way of greater efficiency. And so what we do in the Better Buildings world is we've really tried to craft a platform across the work we do within EERE that addresses some of these big barriers and really tries to tear them down as a way that we can move forward much more quickly as a country. So we work with market leaders, we work on some workforce issues, we develop tools here at the Department of Energy, and then Leslie talked a little bit about the work we do as the federal government to lead by uh, example. But uh, the program I'm going to talk to you about today is the Better Buildings Challenge, because that's what has spurred our movement into reality TV. Just very quickly, the Better Buildings Challenge, the goal is really, as um, you heard before, is to drive greater efficiency, 20, 30, 40, 50 percent in the commercial industrial arena. We know we can save a lot of money doing that, but the real epiphany we had was, how do we do that? Well, how is it that you can really jump ahead. How is it that we can leapfrog across what it is we've been doing and drive greater change? And one of the things that we thought is, you know, even though we're the Department of Energy and we know what we're doing, it is the case that in our world we like to listen to friends for advice and we follow who it is we perceive as leaders in the marketplace. So we said, well, let's do this. Let us, as the Department of Energy, as the federal government, partner with leaders in the commercial industrial space we're going to ask them to step up to a pretty audacious goal of upgrading their whole portfolio, right? We're going to get away from that, I did one building, I'm good uh, answer, and really try and get people to focus on their whole portfolio. And then as a crazy idea, let's ask them to be transparent about how they did that and at a facility level what amount of energy they're saving per building. So. That was a challenge that was issued in 2011 and we are really excited because we have about 350 partners working with us today. So those are, you'll see in a minute a slide with just some of the logos, but there are a lot of names you recognize. Um, we're working with commercial, industrial, public, city, state governments, financial folks, and then we are partnering with HUD to address the multifamily community. So we're working with about 100 multifamily owners. And we know that partners are doing a great job so far. On average, there are two, two and a half percent energy savings a year. Lots of really great stuff going on. We're working on water issues. We're very excited. These are just some of the partners we have. There are a lot of household names on here, right? So in the commercial sector, we're working with Walmart, Walgreens, Starbucks. You can see a lot of familiar names. The industrial space, everyone from General Mills and General Motors to 3M and Nissan. Those are all partners in the Better Buildings Challenge. Uh, we've got about 50, as I mentioned, 50 cities and state governments, small little communities like Gillette, Wyoming, to big cities like Atlanta and Los Angeles and Chicago. So a very impressive portfolio of leaders in the marketplace that are committed to not only leading the way by actually doing the work, but then sharing what they're doing with others. Okay, so that's interesting. So 
Great, we've got these great partners and they're doing a lot of work. And so what is it that we do as the Department of Energy? Because we're not paying for these organizations to do these upgrades. These upgrades that they're doing are cost effective. That's part of what they're demonstrating. This is just good business to go out and do this. Okay, so what do we need to do as the Department of Energy to continue to move this ball down the field? Okay, well, we do a lot. We go out and we meet and highlight and talk to and get media to come to events across the market. And that's not just me, it's all up the uh, Department of Energy chain. So we're excited about that. What else do we do? Okay, well, we want to profile what people are doing because unless you tell people what's going on, it's hard for them to follow the leaders. So we do things like we ask our partners, every partner in the challenge has to do a showcase project. They have to show us what's possible and their kind of stores. We post those, so here's Macy's. Another thing that we like to do, I think this is actually the heart of the Better Buildings Challenge, we ask people what move, what, what, what allowed you to move your organization past what it was doing before and really break through and drive efficiency. Alcoa, as many of you know, is one of the world's largest aluminum manufacturers and their issue, they realized, it wasn't a technical issue. I know that's hard for some people at the Department of Energy because it's not technology, but the answer was an organizational one. And all of a sudden Alcoa said, well darn, if we really think energy efficiency is important, why don't we base compensation for our employees on how well they're doing to drive efficiency, right? Nothing speaks like the bottom line. So this is what moved Alcoa through. Okay, so cool, really cool. We call those playbooks or implementation models. And now we have fun hundreds, even thousand, over a thousand solutions on the Better Building Solution Center. Really exciting. All leaders, these are their solutions, their ideas, so that the market can connect. Okay, that's cool. Whoopsie, let's go back. One sec. Okay, but then we were sort of sitting around the office a couple years ago and we thought, wow, this is really exciting and people are doing great stuff and we've got these amazing corporate partners as well as in the public and private sector. But still, how do we convey how important leadership is, right? People want to follow the leader. In the words of Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, remember that, the ABC always be closing? Well, at Better Buildings, not surprisingly, we're about ABB, always being better. You can always be better, right? So we are so amazed at the willingness of our partners to share. And one of the things I'm trying to undo, we as the whole Better Buildings team are trying to undo, is this notion that you can only learn from someone who looks like you. I don't know about you guys, but I know when I go to a hospital convention, the people just want to talk to other hospitals because that's really who understands their business the best. And, but there's so much learning that can be learned and shared across different parts of the economy. So that's the other thing we're trying to do in better buildings. So we thought, well, you know, we've got real buildings, we've got real people. How do we engage people and parts of organizations that we have yet to engage? So. Whoopsie, let's see. So the Better Building Swap was born. This is uh, season one. It was this crazy idea. We called Hilton and Whole Foods. We took a play out of the reality TV that is on stations across the country now. And we said, we've got this crazy idea. Hilton, we're gonna ask you to swap with the Whole Foods energy team. And we're gonna film you guys. We're gonna bring cameras in, they're gonna roll, and we're just gonna pick it all up. And we're gonna see what it's like, because both organizations work with us in the Better Buildings Challenge, and I would argue they are both leading the way in their sectors, right? But as many of you guys know in your own world, sometimes the smartest people you know are those that realize they don't know everything. And that's what's fun about working with the Better Buildings Challenge partners. Hilton's doing a great job, but they're like, you know what, we can always do better, we can always learn, we're willing to do the swap. So we did season one of the swap, uh, it went really well. I'm going to show you uh, some highlights in just a second, but I want to tee up. I feel like I'm on the late night show. I'm going to tee up the clip you're going to see. Um, we have done three swaps so far. I'm not going to tell you what they are, but this is season one. You can see them all on YouTube uh, or the swap website here as part of the Better Buildings site that we have as the Department of Energy's website. And then the last, uh, before you see for yourself, we're really excited about where SWAP has gone. Uh, I'm not, again, I don't want to steal uh, any of the clips thunder. You'll see sort of the metrics and how it is we're measuring uh, our reality, our, our venture into reality TV. 
But it's won a couple of awards and it's up for a couple more. We're very, very excited. It's won two already, the Sabro Awards and the Shorty Awards. These are typically PR awards that are given out as uh, to efforts that are really trying to move the needle. And that's really what we're trying to do at the Department of Energy. So think back to the problem we're trying to solve. We're trying to accelerate the pace of energy efficiency adoption in this country. And we're going to do it through social media and we're doing it through the Better Building Swap. So with that, I'm going to let you see our reality TV um, swap for yourself right now. But you have to wait a minute. Sorry, I forgot. I was supposed to tap dance up here while she loads it. But uh, you'll see. I forgot the tap dancing part. Sorry. But here it comes. There you go. The whole reason we do the Better Building Swap is because we know we can be better. So I've walked hundreds of hotels. This is the first time that I've had the opportunity to swap and walk a store. I've never seen three guys in suits standing in a kitchen. All that air is just losing yeah. itself. That's technology that, in a lot of cases, would have been upgraded years ago. I mean, you multiply it by that size, just a dollar a square foot is $1.4 million. We are used to having to clean up the Navy's mess. When this was built, they called it the palace for the people. You want to mess yeah. with the palace. With this double vestibule, they should be able to take advantage of having two sets of doors. Oh, did you get a little cold blast of air right there? I wonder if it's supposed to be putting cold air in here in December. Going to Atlanta, the only thing I can say is I may be wearing a Patriot scarf down there, um, and I'll let, I'll let that do all the talking for me. It's awesome that we were able to connect and we were able to share those best practices between two different industries. I was honestly shocked by when you start looking for waste, how easy it is to find it. I think the biggest takeaway is the importance of cities collaborating with one another. Every swap we do, we learn more and more. The more we have the opportunity to profile what leaders are doing so others can learn, the greater chance we have as a country moving forward. Fun. So just a couple quick, uh, that was really a quick overview of SWAP because we wanted to give you a flavor for it, but now your real challenge, your real homework is to go watch the SWAPs. They're very short, so in the spirit of today's social media, we don't have long to engage with folks. Each SWAP is typically three episodes, well they're not typically, they are, they're three episodes, they're about six minutes each. So uh, typically you spend one, for example, the first one, you spend the first one at Hilton, then you go to Whole Foods the next episode, and then we do the reveal. We sort of spend the last six minutes of the last webisode, if you will, um, talking about what they learned from each other. And the sharing and the conversations are real. It's not scripted, and that's what makes it fun. Um, I will challenge you, it won't be hard. You can find there's a character or two in every swap, and we have a good time, in the, um, just like they do on reality TV uh, that you might watch on other channels. So um, we're very excited. Uh, swap 4, we're hoping uh, to film later this summer. It's a lot of fun, but more importantly, it's a successful way to do things differently. We really need to break through, like sometimes when you talk about energy efficiency, people's eyes glaze over, and the whole point of swap is to change that to make sure that people understand not only is it something really important for all of us to do for a variety of reasons, right? 
better buildings, and I mean that not in the better building sense, but we have better um, and improved facilities for all of us, but we're saving an awful lot of money as a country. We are eliminating the waste that comes from wasting energy in our buildings, and we are doing an awful lot to protect our environment. So with that, thank you so much for having me. We hope you uh, all check out the swap and um, come to me with ideas for other swaps if you have them. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs>